good morning class 7 today we will do chapter 1 of your evs environment and natural resources the first chapter is on water please write the new terms in your notebook along with the exercises which we will be doing today let's begin the chapter water is colorless odorless and tasteless liquid it is an essential resource for life on the planet of earth Many ancient civilizations developed along the rivers only because of easy availability of water. Under normal atmospheric pressure, it boils at 100 degrees centigrade temperature. At 4 degrees centigrade, it attains maximum density and thereafter it expands on freezing at 0 degrees. So when we talk about water, we all know that it is colorless. We don't have any taste until unless we sub mix something into it and when we have studied in social science that the ancient civilizations they came along on the bank of the rivers so that they could have access to the water easily. Water a precious resource among the various gifts of nature to man the water is the most precious one. Apart from giving uh, life to all organism it also a raw material for many industries it can dissolve most of the substances therefore it is used in uh, therefore it is used to dilute and remove the waste when it is made to fall on the turbine it generate ideal power which is used as energy in the fast developing world the method of power generation through water is a pollution free method Water is a cheap means of transport as well as and is widely used in the international trade. So when we talk about the usage of water, it is used uh, like you know easy, you can easily mix something into it that is it dilutes easily. Then when it, water is uh, for, like water falls on the turbines, it produces the hydro energy, the hydro power that generates the electricity and it is the best part is that it is pollution free and then water is the cheapest means of transport water and life no organism can function without water it circulates the various element in biosphere and provides a medium for metabolic processes which are essential for life water is also a major constituent of living matter 50 to 90 percent weight of living organism is water the basic material of living water is protoplasm which consists of a solution in water of fats, proteins, carbohydrates, salts and other chemicals. Blood in the animals and sap in the plants are mainly composed of water. It helps in transporting the food and removing the waste. So without water we all know that the survival is difficult. It is the most important, it plays the most important role in the biosphere then when we talk about like the weight of the organism it is said that 50 to 90 percent of the organism consists of water then uh, the blood uh, in uh, the human beings in the animals and the sap in plant it is composed of water sap circulation in plants decreases during winter and increases on the arrival of spring sugarcane juice is the most common sap that is used as sweetening agent water a habitat habitat is a space occupied by the organisms and the elements of physical environment which affect them what is also a habitat a number of organisms live here aquatic habitat can be divided into two divisions freshwater habitat and marine habitat freshwater habitat it includes the flowing water of streams and rivers and still water of lakes and ponds a variety of plants and animals life flourish here the freshwater habitat can be further divided into two parts so water first of all is divided into freshwater and marine habitat then freshwater can be divided into lotic habitat and lentic habitat lotic is the flowing water of rivers it comprises of headwater zone or upper valley from where a river originates middle way of valley of plains and lower valley or mouth of river where it falls into the sea upper valley organisms in the upper valley are so adapted that they can maintain their position in the fast flowing cold water 
animals of this zone either have streamlined bodies for minimum drag or have small hooks and suckers that enable them to cling to the rocks. Fish like brook trout and uh, insect like mayfly nymph have streamlined bodies thus reducing resistance to current. Now that is something which is very obvious when this is this uh, nature is very beautifully made by the god whatever animals you see they have adapted to the areas to wherever they are living for example you must have never heard that a lion eats fish but when you talk about sundarbans there they survive on the fish only because of the uh, area they, where they are living right so here when we talk about the upper valley their animals they have adapted so their bodies either they are streamlined so that when the water flows with the pressure they do not get hurt to it or they have small hooks and suckers so that it could, could cling they could stick to the rock and then uh, like you know control themselves with the flow of the water examples they have mentioned here like uh, mayfly spends one to three years as underwater nymph and breathes through its gills the stony fly sorry the stone fly nymph has flattened body so it can hide underwater and cling to the underlying rocks black fly larva attach themselves to rocks which hook, uh, with hooks and suckers caddish fly larva build small cases of pebbles with which they remain hooked among plants the water moss remains clinged to rock and aligns with the current algae is also common that grows tightly to the rocks so they have given you the example where how they have adapted themselves to the environment where they are found okay class we will finish this middle valley today and then continue in the next class so you must have understood they they have different ways of saving themselves uh, in the water and being protected right now when you talk about the middle valley as the river enters the plains it widens its valley the speed of the water also slows down due to the gentle slope water on the margins or along the bank is slower than the middle water of the river only this nominal change in the environment is sufficient to change the species of organisms in water bass sunfish and other free swimming organisms are adapted to slow moving water and warm temperature bass is also known as large mouth sunfish <coughs> sorry rarely exceeds 25 cm in length important plant life includes the phytoplankton that is microscopic in size and flows with the current some rooted plants also grow in the shallow water their types depend on the surrounding land environment so here again they have given you different examples where when we talk about the middle valley where the speed is less and uh, the river has uh, like you know it little bit broadens up so that is the change and uh, like all the environmental change is very nominal so bass sun uh, sunfish they are found here bass is also a uh, fish like name of a fish which has a large mouth whereas sunfish it's not very big enough it's just 25 centimeters in length and then microscopic phytoplankton is uh, a plant which grows here and flows they flows with the current there are some other plants which rooted them root themselves in the shallow water that is where the water is not very deep there they grow up we will continue with the lower valley in the next class please revise your work do the exercises and the new terms in your notebook question answers we will be doing in the next class thank you class take care of yourselves be safe at home for any queries please send me a message and i'll i'll clarify your query